We're going to continue this conversation with our next guest who believes it is unlikely the outlook for 2024 will be particularly positive on growth, adding it may more closely resemble a copy and paste of 2023. Joining us now, HSBC chief multi-asset strategist Max Kettner. And Max, I guess to be clear, you think that's what the consensus is going to be penciling in for next year? Yeah, absolutely. You guys were just talking about the consensus number for Q4. And let's be honest, uh, if we just looked uh, uh, two months ago, that consensus number for Q4 growth was very close to zero again, right? And that's just been changed and revised a little bit higher. Now, when we look at Q1 and Q2 next year, guess what's happening? We again have consensus numbers that are very, very close to zero. And you guys were just talking about it as well, that it, it is very, very rare that you go from a reacceleration of growth, such as we've seen it in the last couple of quarters, to suddenly, you know, suddenly 1% or below that even, uh, to numbers like that. So to me, I think there's two things that really stand out. Number one, it's still pretty resilient growth. And number two, even if we slow down, and I do agree, right, we're not going to get those blowout consumer spending numbers. That's fine. But as long as consensus is still on track with these really, really subdued and close to zero growth expectations in the next couple of quarters, that's great, right? All we need is sort of like one-ish, one and a half percent growth, and it's already going to be much, much better than, expect, uh, than, than consensus expectations, and that ultimately should actually help help risk assets. Yeah, so you're you're generally positive then on on equities, on other uh, risky parts of the capital markets, I, I suppose. What does the yield picture mean for that outlook, though? I mean, I think the the the, the markets collectively have been in this kind of parallel panic of. Oh, no, yields are flying at the same time. We don't think the economy can handle uh, this rapid increase in rates. Yeah, so we've gone from this good news is good news to good news is bad news paradigm, or we've sort of coined it from Goldilocks to reverse Goldilocks, because in that reverse Goldilocks environment, frankly, nothing works, right? All you want to have is dollar and cash, and that's not really a particularly attractive environment, and in fact, it's pretty challenging, right, from an from an asset allocation perspective, if everything sells off. Now, two things that I want to add here. Number one, it's for me, not really the yield per se. And I think right now, there is an extreme focus just on bond yields, just at that long end of bond yields. But what we're seeing is, we're seeing the bond yields moving higher, real yields moving higher, also as a reaction of growth. Again, growth actually staying resilient, right? And growth numbers being much better than expected. So people are only really, if we think about, for example, about things like the equity risk premium, they're only really focusing at that equity risk premium on the second term, that bond yield. They're not really factoring in the possibility of earnings, right, of that earnings yield actually being a little bit better because growth is remaining a little resilient. So that's number one. Number two, I would, I would want to add is, it's not necessarily the level of bond yields I'm so concerned about, because if that is followed through by better earnings, fine, I'll take it, right? What I am concerned about is, is the bond volatility, right? It's mm -hmm. the movement, it's the speed of the move. Because, in fact, if I tell you an equity risk premium, right, if I tell you, look, you've got to, I know for sure, I come from the future, and I know for sure the bond yield is 5% over the next 12 months. Fine, mm -hmm. you'll take it. But if I tell you it's somewhere between 0 and 10%, what are you going to do? You're going to say, I need a higher earnings yield to compensate for that bigger uncertainty. And that's more what I'm worried about. I'm more worried about the volatility in rates rather than really the level. Yeah, and I think the markets uh, agree with you there. They're wishing for some more calm here in, uh, in those rates. See if we uh, can get those, Max. Thanks very much. Appreciate the time today.